Welcome to Haneda Airport here in Tokyo. Look at this. It is one of the nicest international airports that I've been in and I've traveled to well over 70 countries. And today we're going to take a look at how the international terminal at Terminal 3 has, has perhaps changed over the last few years since the, uh, you know, event to the last three. And uh, we'll go and do a little bit of, of plane spotting outside on the observatory. But what I love about this airport is that they've made it very Edo period. This is a time in Japan in the 19th century. It feels like that, and that's kind of kind of a cool feeling. You see on the left side that modern uh, Japan feel, and then the right side that old wood with the uh, the red chochin, which are the lanterns on the on the on the right. I like that. And it makes for a very unique experience when you're leaving, and a, one that you remember and you don't want to forget. Hey everybody, uh, I'm going to be leaving in 48 hours to go back to the United States. But before I did that, we're, we're going to be leaving too early in the morning. I don't actually live that far away from Haneda, so I, I stopped in to, to give you a, a quick overview, a look through of the departures. Now the arrivals is a little bit not as exciting. There are some shops down there, but it's the departures that I think has the most interesting, uh, I don't know, architecture, landscape, whatever. Something like that. So let's take a quick look, see, and then I'll, I'll take you uh, upstairs to the observatory where you can take a look at the city of Tokyo because Haneda Airport has an amazing view of the city of Tokyo. Wow, the check ins go all the way to the letter N. A and A, if you're flying all Nippon Airlines, oh, check out that sushi shop right down the right. That's very cool. The A and A is, on, I think it's A, B, and C at the beginning of it, of the uh, terminal. So it's easy to find. The other airlines are on the right. The, terminal 2 also has some international departures. So that's good to know. I wanted to start here. Wow. Do you see up here is the, a, replica, a replica of Nihonbashi. So let's go upstairs. I want to walk on this for just a second. It's been a long time since I've done that. Wow, there's a crowd of people over there. Um, you don't have to check in as early as you would for the U.S. You know, they, I think they said like three to four hours for international flights in the U.S. I'm going to tell you, you probably can get away from two and a half hours here because the security check is usually pretty easy. Uh, not easy, but it's faster more efficient I think if you feel comfortable coming four hours in advance please do but I'm, I'm telling you for international I am usually two and a half and I'm good and if you have la access to the lounge you can relax here for sure this is so cool I haven't been up here in years the the original Nihonbashi, of course, was uh, taken out after the earthquake of 1923 and rebuilt. But from up here, you have an even more amazing view of the terminal below. Look at that. I love it. You're really high. You're pretty much on the roof of the airport. All right, let's go take a look at the restaurants and the... the uh, shops that you might have. There's a ANA Festa. If you have an ANA uh, credit card or point card, it does pay to get the points at the ANA Festa. I think it's like double points for the same omiyagi, which is like the Royce potato chips and etc. You can get that there. At a relative, wow, look at this. This is the old Edo. Edo Castle used to be a thing. It burned down uh, in the 19th century. So it's no longer there. That's, that would have been Tokyo Castle. So the images from that are pretty cool. Up here is, in the middle of the night, if you do come here, you'll see people sleeping underneath the red umbrellas. Not today, because it's afternoon. If you want to get rid of your change at the airport, one thing that you can do is go to the Gachapon terminals here. And all right, we're going to go here later. That's the uh, observatory. But the Gachapon are everywhere in the airport and they usually have some interesting ones and it's a good way to dump your hundred yen coins let's see let's see what we can get here wow 
here's some ramen. Miniature ramen. This, this is kind of all right. <laughs> Look at this miniature castles from around Japan. That's kind of that's actually kind of cool. Do they glow in the dark? That'd be even cooler. Look at that miniature microwaves. Don't ask me why, but apparently if you push the button, it goes ching. But unfortunately, it's sold out. So uh, I would get one for Leo because anything that makes a noise, it's kind of cool. All right, let's go down uh, to back to the restaurant floor. The thing is, if you come up to the if you come up to the the bridge right there, right here, you have to go back the way you came. Or wait, I think I could go around, but I wanted to take you after I just show you the shops here. All right, here comes the elevator. The Hanin Airport Garden Mall. I'm not even sure what that is. I'm, I'm, all, I'm, I'm still kind of figuring out how Haneda has changed over the last... Whoa, the elevator's like way down there. I'm not a patient person, so I'm gonna have to say, I'm gonna go around. Oh, you know what, I'll just wait. Inside the lobby, this is interesting. There's, uh, so we're on the fifth floor. And the fourth floor, I guess, is the ch is the third floor is the departure lobby. And the, the fourth floor is called Edo Koji. And uh, this is where we're going right now. Let's enter. I wonder if the signal extends into the elevator. Looks like it's raining. All right, we're, we're on the uh, Edo Koji, which is the, the shops. There's a bookstore. They still have those. This is the Tokyo Milk shop. These, these are one of Kanai's favorite confections. Look at that cheesecake there. Can I recharge my Ikoka card at Haneda or Narita? You can at the, uh, you can do that at the um, monorail. I came in via, my, oh, this is so cool. I'm always so impressed with the little village that they created inside of Haneda. Look at this. All right, we'll just, we'll, we'll just stroll through here real slow. We're deep in the terminal, so I'm not sure how the signal is, but it does look like a different world inside of Haneda Airport makes you want to buy stuff well perhaps you yeah, always pan up and look and see at the the designs of the shops it does look like old Tokyo had these storefronts that were very I guess pretty similar to what you have here these are a lot cleaner sometimes they would use like gold trim around it there's a tonkatsu restaurant Interesting. Here's a shabu shabu restaurant. Oh no, this is the sukiyaki. Oh my god, this is Imahan. Imahan from Ningyocho is like a 150 year old uh, sukiyaki restaurant. This is some good stuff. If you have the time, I wouldn't rush sukiyaki, but this is so worth it. Let me just take a look at the menu here. Oh yeah, you gotta go for the, the uh, just go for the high quality beef. You don't have to go for top. Go for the, each, it's each, 10,000 yen a person or like 70 bucks. That's so worth it. That's some good Wagyu. Oh my gosh. If you have the time and you didn't go to Imahan in Nihonbashi and uh, in Ningyocho before, definitely do. I like what they've done here. Do you see this? They put the wait times of the security. So to get through on the north side would take you 15 to 20 minutes. On the central side, which is um, right underneath us, it's, there's no wait to go through security. So I like that they've done that with the check times. So you know how to maybe save like 15 minutes and that would help you shop more or enjoy your Haneda experience. Just a little bit more. All right, this side has a ramen place that I've been into many times. 
And that's the place where you, you, it's a lot cheaper than Imahan's or some of the other restaurants on that other side. So what do we have here? Is this like an okonomiyaki or, ah, this is a Hiroshima style okonomiyaki. And this is a spaghetti. This is, oh, this is like a Western food here but it's got a Japanese touch. The hamburg with the om rice kind of. And I love, the, I love this demi-glaze sauce. They use that in so many things in that like uh, old world Western cuisine. It's got brick in there. I mean, you can feel the vibe. It looks like the 1950s, like, sorry, maybe the 1920s <laughs> inside there. Like time stands still kind of a place. But the beef curry, 1,800 yen, you know, it looks like they've raised the prices from the last time I was here. Cert they certainly have. And just tourists have that 148 to 150 yen to the dollar exchange rate right now, so. All right, here's a steak place. So let's take a look at this. What is this? Yakiniku champion. Champion. All right, this is actually not too bad. Again, they don't list where the beef is from. At least I don't see it, but it does look pretty good. I don't know where exactly the beef is from, do they say? This is yakiniku. But if, you're, if you want to get a, a hankering for it, this is the premium yakiniku plate for 3,200 yen. Was it like 20 bucks? That's worth it. And, you know, just so you know, a little bit goes a long way. Here's the ramen place. This one is always has a line. And you can get their spicy tonkotsu ramen, which is what I recommend. That's a, about, what is that, $8, 12, 1,250 yen. And you can get the, with the gyoza set, it's just a little bit more. It's pretty good. Uh, I, I've actually, I think I live streamed in there a couple of years ago with Kanai, but the line is always there. So it's, but it moves really quickly. So it's not something that is uh, a deal breaker. You can get a, a massage before you get on the plane. I like that, there's some sushi. More sushi on this side. And then more restaurants inside of here. This is the Edomai Yokocho, is what it's called. So let's do a quick walk through here. This is Ginza Ogura, which is a famous chain. Can, you guys can screenshot that if you want. Um, it looks like Oden right there. Oden is so good. Oh, look at this Unagi, baby. Unagi is freshwater eel. That is a, about 5,000 yen for that. And this is 3,000 yen, it's a little bit smaller. But that is some good looking unagi. Wow. And again, uh, here's a, a plate of uh, oden. Oh my gosh, that's so good. Uh, actually, if, if, if it's open when Kanai and I come here on, on Tuesday, we're gonna go take a look. Here's some soba. Prices are definitely slightly higher, but they should be. All right, we're gonna go to the end of the end of the street just to see what it's what's here. I see Joy is in the house. I hope you're doing well. We heard about the the big earthquake <coughs> near the Philippines yesterday, last night. Oh, so this is the end of the line. And what is here? Washoku, which means Japanese cuisine. This is like an izakaya. I like that they put everything in English here as well. Pork cutlet miso sauce on top of rice bowl. Just tonkatsu. And look at that. There's like a place to sit down. And you have a nice view overlooking the airport. That's pretty sweet. All right, let's get, let's get out of here. I want to take you now to the observation deck. They got sake in there too. Let's go up to the observation deck.
There's some more shops on the inside. There's a nursery if you need to, uh, if, if you're a mother with a young child. I believe there was a, you can see looking down into the departure terminal after you check in, just make sure you get to your gate 30 minutes in advance. Oh, they got Hokkaido ice cream. This is a, a must if you've got the room for it. You gotta say goodbye to Japan with some Hokkaido soft serve ice cream. And this is more of a, a, the cheaper options, kind of like Japanese fast food curry rice. That looks like one that could have been microwave though. The ice cream looks good. It's funny, you know, if you need headphones or something, you just forgot batteries or, you know, wire or something, you can get that at the big camera, which is right here. How cool is that? Probably you can use your big camera point card and get a couple of points. As a foreigner, they always ask me tax free and I say, I wish I can't because I live here. Oh, they got Christmas tree here. Hello. Oh, hey. For something you asked, we were just traveling. Oh, geez. Sorry to interrupt you. No, not at all. I actually had, I don't have you found me cards today. I would, I would hand you one for finding uh, me. How was your trip? Amazing. Fantastic. Yes. I say that because I know you're at the departure, so you're probably yeah. leaving. <laughs> oh, cool. You're like welcome. Your video on Tokyo Station yeah. and like how to navigate the subway and all that. It was oh, really good. Helpful. Oh, great. You guys yeah. want to say hi to everybody? I'm just kind of walking sure. around. It's sure. up to you. All right, there you go. There you go. Hi. Everybody. <laughs> North Carolina. North Carolina. Trip, so. All right, now you're part of this part of the record. <laughs> awesome. All right, nice have, to meet have you. a good trip home, guys. That's nice. I wanted to show you the tree. I wanted to show you the Christmas tree. So there's a Christmas tree at the end there. It's not bad. It's not bad. All right, let's go. That's so nice. You know, if I can just push the ball forward and help out some people just a little bit, then it's been a huge success, right? Yeah, Joy, I have my backpack today. I, I, all the You Found Me cards are in my other bag because I'm going after this to help Kanai uh, film an event that she's doing for her kids before we leave the U.S. She scheduled it now and uh, I didn't, th I didn't, I should have thought, oh, yo, well, there's going to be a lot of people here. I, sh I should have thought better. All right, let's go take a look at the uh, observation deck. All right, up here, there's some neat, there's some new stuff. What is this? Let's just take a quick look-see into the hot zone. Oh, they got some awesome Japan Self-Defense Force, baby. Oh, yeah. Those are like some, are these the F-15s? We saw some of these in Hokkaido. Man, they were making a big blast, a lot of sound up there from Chitose Airport. Oh, look at this. That's so cool. They got some self-defense force uh, tactical gear. Oh, you got it. If you come here, you got to check it out. Look at this bag. This is killer. Holy smokes. It's a waste bag and it's 4,000 yen and that's, this looks like something I could put my gimbal and stuff in. I like that, they got a black one in the back. That looks like it's made really well. Oh, this is the toy park from Ginza. This is a, like the Toys R Us, the original Japanese based toy store. So you can get some, this is definitely worth checking out if you have some time. Make sure you come up to the observation deck. Get some like uh, airplane goods. Look at this. I gotta come up and get this for Leo. He could play with this on the on the uh, airplane. Look at this. That's awesome. Oh, this is so cool. Do you agree? <laughs> I love this. This is so cool. I could look at that for an hour. I like how the samurai ninja geisha 
and Kabuki actor are all in together. How you doing? Wow, this is too cool. Check this out, Rika-chan is a Japanese astronaut. Whoa, they got Totoro in here too. They got all sorts of Totoros. Wow, that's awesome. Ampaman goods, Pikachu Legos. That is so awesome. All right, I'm gonna do some last minute shopping up here. I had no idea that that existed until right now. That's so cool. All right, there's a cafe up here, Costa Coffee. And uh, there's a character shop. And there's a door that will lead us to the outside. I, I, first of all, they don't make drones like that anymore. And second, you'd have to be really dense to fly a drone in the airport, at the airport. <laughs> in this time of age, but it's a beautiful observation deck. Look at this. Oh, I love it. You can see here um, the terminal. Let me show you a little bit of the airport first here. So where exactly is Haneda Airport? We're right here in the city of Tokyo. Just come right in here. It's, 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 I, this, is, this is an old airport. I think it was all the way back to the 1920s, but it expanded into an international airport in the 90s, I believe. And this international terminal is somewhat new. Uh, a lot of it is now man-made, and uh, the international terminal is just beautiful. I'm gonna uh, pan out here and you get a chance to look at terminal one and two. Terminal one is JAL and terminal two is ANA, but terminal two, the domestic terminal three is international but terminal two also has some international departures so do, do keep in mind that all international departures come from terminal three right there that was lost for a bit terminal one and two you can walk between them i think and the runways are massive here there's so many of them um just a note i showed you some unagi earlier but haneda is very famous for anago so if you do come, come to haneda airport look for anago which is salt water eel and uh, it's some of the best in the world because of the warm waters uh, that release from the Tamagawa River on the left side of Haneda Airport. So there's Anago fishermen. There's Anago fishermen on the left side, uh, uh, right off of the base of Tamagawa River. Uh, and you have amazing views of, of Tokyo City. Check it out. You can see the sky tree in the distance. This is live pictures from Tokyo right now. Very cool. And I, I think on a day like today, you're gonna see Mount Fuji in the distance. I think I can zoom in, but it won't look so good. And let's walk down to the other side, see what we can see. On the left side is the uh, domestic terminal. It's a uh, sure there's a free shuttle bus that'll take you from one airport terminal to the next or you can get on the monorail but you got to pay for that around the terminal there is a, a free uh, shuttle bus uh, if you want to get from Haneda airport to uh, Narita airport you can just take hop on the Askusa or the KQ line and the two connect there are limited expresses that'll go from one to the other or if you're in a real hurry I'm being serious here. Helicopter it. They have helicopters, which is so freaking cool. It's kind of pricey, but it's, it's, uh, I, I've had friends who have done that. There's a jail flight on the way out here. Oh, there's Umi Hotaru. That's the, uh, um, the aqua line that, that uh... you can see that in the middle of the, 
Tokyo Bay. Right there. That structure is the uh, uh, air vent, I believe. And there's a kind of a shopping mall. Half of the aqua line is out and uh, half of it is under the water. And there you go. There is uh, the Tokyo International Airport, baby. That is our ride. Very cool. I'll do a little pan for you here. Welcome. All right, any questions? <laughs> any final questions before we take... Oh, there goes an a, a flight taking off right now. Bye bye. We'll see, we'll see you in about 40 hours. We'll be in the air. It's, that's pretty exciting. Um, I'll be in the U.S., but that doesn't mean this channel stops, by the way. Uh, I, I have a, uh, a new microphone, and I'll be doing some live streaming uh, from, from my home, talking about Japan for the next week. Week, uh, for the next three weeks in a podcast style format, kind of check it, trying this out. Kanai is going to be with me. We're going to do some Japanese classes, just kind of experiment a little bit in the month of February. So make sure you do subscribe to this channel. I think it's going to be really interesting. In particular, if you're going to be planning a trip in the spring, we'll help you out with that a lot, I think. And it's going to be fun because Kanai and I are going to be jet lagged out of our minds. So. But we're in the same time zone as, the, as in the U.S., so hopefully this is something that is a good thing, for, especially on the east coast of the U.S. All right, everybody, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next live stream tomorrow morning. I think I'm going to be heading towards Ikebukuro. We will see. We will see. But if I do, that's where I'll probably be early in the morning for a live stream, uh, the last one of, uh, in Tokyo, unless we do one at the airport but on the way out which is possible. Oh, there's a place I want to show you after you check in on Terminal 3. It's kind of a, a little secret. If you know this, this might change a lot of the things that you do to plan for your departure. So I'm going to, if, if I can, I will show you on Tuesday morning before we depart, a little bit of a, a kind of a, a secret on the departures after the security. So mark that down, guys. See you next time. Mata ne.